Hello everyone. Hello everyone, can you guys hear me? Please write down in the chat if you guys can hear me. Hi, awesome. Hello Debbie. Welcome you to this session. Very nice to see you here. Hello Claudia, buenos dias. Hey Neha, Rabjot, Arya, Richa. Awesome. So as you all know, I am your host Nidhi Prakash and we are here for this beautiful Sentangle session and my husband, my co-host Ajay is also here with us and he is with you in the chat. So, hope everybody is ready for this Sentangle art session. And yesterday in our Mandala art session, we made this beautiful Lotus Mandala and I really want to give a huge shout out to everyone who joined me and submitted your work in this Facebook post Deepti Sharma, Julia Prime, Prapreet, this is beautiful color Prapreet, awesome and Mandy I'm waiting for you no worries take your time beautiful Tripti Ghosh Rina and Rina was asking that if he, if she can use colors with it yes after this you can use colors you can use colors over wherever you use the uh, you know uh, your graphite pencil so over that you can use your colors even thing it's beautiful Gurmeet awesome Yelena I loved your this whole blue color monochromatic Sneha this is pretty Parnadas, Kalpna and this is so nice Rekha awesome colors Nirupma and I love the quote Nirupma what you wrote here Shirley Sendberg beautiful Debbie this is pretty Debbie Manati, Ruchi, Ruhi Huge, a huge shout out to all of you who shared your work with me. This was really beautiful and this mandala you all drew beautifully and it was nice to see all of your work. So now let's start our today's session. So in the Zentangle Art session, this is our Let's Tangle 18th session. And can find all past 17 session uh, on my channel in the let's tangle playlist as well as in the draw with me playlist for the supplies we need one black marker pen one pencil for the shading and the tortillon for the blending we'll follow these zentangle steps we are going to work on a three and a half inch square paper before that we will work on a few bijou tiles where we'll uh, you draw our angles which we are going to use in our big tile so let's start our first tangle which we are going to use in our today's style is do da and you know we have used this tangle already this is a zen tangle original tangle morning Linda hey Nishita hey Elena hello Shruti so now in this tangle if you remember this is a beautiful border tangle or the ribbon tangle we draw lines from each side and we don't touch all the way and they are alternate Now after drawing, this is the basic 
drawing of the duda but there are thousands of variations which you can do in it like maybe you can make triangle at their base you can make half circle at the base or the u or just the dot or you can just leave it like that it's your choice how you want to you know give them this finishing beautiful so in this if you want you can make these tiny dots on the edges and then shading either side both side outside inside it depends how you want to give the shading and maybe in the top i'm giving it inside it's your choice how you want to give how you want to shade your this angle here i want to shade it outside So this is the tangle here I just want to put light Duda and this is a Zen tangle original tangle and now let's talk about the next tangle which we are going to use in our today's artwork and we used this tangle in our last tile when we made the musical tile if you remember that's the BB tangle because BB tangle kind of looks like you know as if we are making the piano keys so whatever our right now we are just talking about this straight line and it will go a little bit more up and down in this way we center can join them with various different size of blocks very random thin or thick long and short beautiful organic tangle still with the lot of lines We did this in our last class so if we want we can make the aura line in this like this here and we can make aura line on the top also that our line we can shading both sides again you see this is a frame tangle or the border tangle or the ribbon tangle the same as the duda and in this specific tile which we are going to draw today we are actually going to use all these tangles in the ribbon form we kind of you know change their style of drawing so that they give us that frame or the border look 
these are the two tangles now let's talk about the third tangle and then i'll wait for you guys after the third tangle drawing and the third tangle is a real tangle another pen this is again a zentangle tangle and it is again the border tangle so suppose we are making our border in this wavy line it can be straight it can be wavy like the set of two parallel lines and then we are going to make these triangles and after that we are going to do one more triangle that's kind of going in between so we are going to get lots of these diamond shapes as you can see then in all these diamond shape we are going to draw this line in the center and then we are going to draw more lines this is going to fill these Half diamonds from the right side and the next step is to fill these top and bottom triangles with the horizontal line this is a beautiful line tangle as well as the ribbon and the border tangle we are going to use this tangle in the frame in our today's style after that very on the top thing is we are going to draw lots of ripple or the circles on the both edges which make this angle complete This is a real tangle and this is again uh, starting from uh, this is again originated from the Zentangle headquarters. This is a Zentangle original tangle and I'm just giving a little shading both inside above the tipple. As you can see. So now I'm waiting for everybody to tell me if you guys are done till here. I'm waiting for a few seconds. Please write down in the chat and I'm looking at the chat. Ardashri is asking something. You are using blending stump for the first time. Please tell me about blending stump and how to use the blending stump. Which size to use here? So Ardashri blending stump comes in various sizes like you must be using these kind of thing. These are the blending stumps. So they are you can use them both side and you always decide the size of the blending stump based on the 
surface based on the place when it's a little wider you can use the bigger like in these kind you i would prob probably uh, you know suggest you to use the smaller version of the blending uh, smaller size of the blending stump and just use the circular motion or the back and forth motion wherever you feel like and once you think it's way too dirty you can just clean it on the scratch pad or uh, any you know sandpaper so and they have a pretty long life uh, compared to the tortillon tortillon are the soft paper coil they are the tight paper coils okay so shall we start the next step now uh, let's give it about 20 more seconds Nadi. In the meantime, do you have any plans for our patrons and our YouTube members? Uh, I believe you have some videos. Can you give a glimpse of those? Yes, uh, we have a lot of videos and I made a post also that uh, this, the video of this art, this is Zentangle inspired art and I have used color pencils in that, a lot of gem and gem and these kind of, you know, glossy finish. So you can see the video of this. Uh, if you are a oak member at the youtube or maybe you are a patreon so this will be available for this will be available very soon within a day or two you will see that video and the video of this and a lot of other intricate mandalas and the dot mandala as you can see in the back that's the yin yang dot mandala so that's all already available for all my patreons and oak members is this what you are asking Ajay? So now let's start our fourth tangle. So and our one always to go tangle is the triple tangle which we are going to use the dots. So I'm not going to draw this but we are going to use it also. So now the last tangle is the diva dance tangle. There are basically three kinds of Diva Dance, Diva Dance Tangles. Rock and Roll, Waltz and Foxtrot. We are going to use here Rock and Roll. They will create kind of the rose flower. So I'm just making one here. And then so it's start from the center and with the wavy line, you keep on making the spirals. And in between, you keep on giving them kind of thumb. this way you can grow it in any size uh, can you please move the camera a little closer uh, to the one you're drawing You can grow them, make them in any size. So this is just one Diva Dance rock and roll. And this is a Zen Tangle, original Tangle. We are going to use it in a band so we'll draw one after the other this is just one star or one just 
chord or the tangle whatever you want to call this is the diva dance rock and roll so these are the five tangles which we are going to use today in our tile and now it's the time to start our three and a half inch square tile i'm going to use the zentangle original tile it's a three and a half inch square you can cut any paper into three and a half inch square or you can just draw a three and a half inch square on your any journal or any book wherever you are drawing so now let's start our rectangle tile and whenever we are starting any tile we always start with the gratitude and appreciation so i am really very happy with all these stuff and the material as well as all of you who are the part of my art journey and i want to thank i want to say thank you to all of you who joined me today and being a part of this session and being a part of my art journey now we'll start with the corner dots yes so we'll grab a pencil and we will first make these dots in the corner then we will make border please join these dots very lightly ever so light the border and now it's the time for the string so for the string the first thing is we are going to draw one wavy band going from left to right so it can be of any shape like this is how i'm drawing it it's just a wave and we want it to be like parallel kind of the riverish style and after that we are going to draw one more inner border this will be our today's string where we are going to work yashruti you can make it with your initials also why not you can if you want you can make it s in the center definitely i would love to see you can make your initial in the double letter on the top of this border and then grab your pen so we will first start working in this string and for this string we are going to use our rock and roll these flowers and we are going to fill this whole band with this rock and roll flowers i'm going to start from here center and then i'll move forward to the both side yes ruhi this is the main drawing keep making these spirals and these humps and keep filling them This is Diva Dance Rock and Roll.
and kind of you know we are just going to make we, we can leave little bit space in the borders where we are going to use the tipple give it a band this is the size actually I'm just kind of leaving it here for the one flower and then first I'm going to work in this side so I'm going to start my other flower with the Siva dance yeah what is the tip size of the pen you're using a question from Shruti see I'm using Micron 01, the tip size is 0.25 mm. I always use in the Zentangle tile the same pen, Micron 01. And whenever I'm making any big, uh, working with the big tile, like the 6 inch square for the mandala or the Zen Doodle uh, art, then I use 08. it this will be our second triangle second flower I mean beautiful organic triangle you can you know it or take it to any direction as big as you want now we keep on making these beautiful flowers in a band Generally we make them in like for the bunches or in the big group so in this one it's really very different style. Otherwise we generally use this rock and roll style to make the bunch of the flower. Can make little more extra flowers or less flowers it depends we have to fill this hole and it depends on you know the size of your paper as well as the tip size of your pen how many uh, flowers you are going to get and tell me are you guys did you guys draw the same wavy band or did you draw something else if any other shape please write down in the chat oh there is a poll I just saw have you already tapped click on the thumbs up button awesome thank you Ajay so if you have not clicked on the thumbs up or the like button please just take a moment and click on the thumbs up button everyone
right here I'm just drawing with the side of any flower you know now I'm going to draw the same thing in this direction also just a reminder that next week there will be no session either on friday saturday sunday because we generally see each other on fridays in the hindi channel for the zen doodle art these this month and probably next month also we are going to do the zen doodle art zen doodle art in on the fridays in the hindi channel and saturdays we see each other here for the mandala art in august we are going to do the mandala art and all the August mandalas are based on the seed of life. So they all are themed on the same uh, theme, the seed of life, the Saturday mandalas. And Sundays we will meet again for all these Zentangle art sessions. So there will be sessions in August. Maybe I take a break on any one week. Depends on because August is the session when kids are going to go back to their colleges and schools and uh, depends on their schedule I'm not sure about the schedule but I'll definitely do most of the sessions whichever I can but next week there will be no class and next to next week like the Saturdays Sundays Fridays we'll see each other this month last week making these tiny rose flowers style to the dance rock and roll Take your time, don't hurry up, okay? Roshni wants to know what is the focus angle for today's drawing. So today's drawing focus angle is this diva dance because this is going on the top. Although the aerial which we are going to use, so this is not just one focus angle tile. We are going to use various angle in this one, but the main main two angles are the diva dance and the aerial. This is for the border and this is for the ribbon. Rest are all kind of the filler inside. That's a nice question. So sometimes we just focus on one tangle in one tile and sometimes we just only draw the mono tangle tile. If you have seen some of my recorded sessions, uh, recorded uh, uploaded videos like they were not live, I just drew it at home at my leisure time and I record it and uploaded it. So there is one, there is two or three mono tangle tiles you will see in those. One is only with the tipple, one is only with the flux. So they are beautiful, just the one tangle in various ways. And sometimes we just draw tile where we focus on one tangle and we use other tangles as the support tangles. 
in this particular tile there is not only one triangle is the focus rather two are the main triangle Tell me, whoever who has who has ever used the other style of the diva dance, like the foxtrot or the waltz. This is the rock and roll which we are using. Have you guys used the other versions of the diva dance? Like this is the foxtrot, if you see here, and this is the waltz. So these are the three different versions of the diva dance. We are using the rock and roll today here. Have you ever used these two versions? Awesome Shruti. You have never used Divya, okay. Arya. fun working with this tangle this is a beautiful tangle and all three variations are awesome and they all three give very different look in your tile This will be my last diva dance here. Here you go. So this is a beautiful, awesome Shruti. Okay, Prapreet, no worries. We are going to use them in our other different tiles. And now we are going to use just these stipple, the tiny, these circles. And we will make this outer look of our these Diva Dance and complete them in a ribbon or in a band and draw them very randomly don't try to get one line try to avoid the one line and you can draw somewhere two circles somewhere three circles these are the tiny orbs which we are drawing so orb is a circular shape and we are going to do this both side you can do this little extra line less lines Try to enclose all these rose flowers in these tiny orbs. Generally, we use tipple as like kind of the filler 
so but right now we will not say that we are using it as a filler right now we are using them as an edge or the terminal like kind of they are giving a border to these beautiful rose flowers and turning them into a band or a ribbon try avoid getting one line please okay otherwise they will not look organic or beautiful Try to draw all circles of similarish size, not very big, not very small. This is our Diva Dance and the Tipple Band. I hope you all are done till here. I'm waiting for everybody to catch up. Please write down in the chat that you are done till here. And please write down if you are drawing along with me. Write down one or two. Yes. Let's see who is drawing with me. I am waiting Aryashree as you can see I am sitting and looking at the chat. And please tell me also if you are done here, please write down done or the thumbs up also. Hey Jia, I am doing good. How are you? Thank you everyone for your feedback. And please write down that you are done till here. Awesome Rukmani. If you are done drawing this diva dance band or the ribbon then we'll start working on the border awesome awesome sweetel and now we'll start working in the border so for the border we are going to draw the every tangle yes thank you roshni so for this one, we are going to draw the double line, like this top double line here. that we are going to work in this 
inner border and in this inner border also we are going to work double line as we are going to draw lots of circles inside of these double line you know in the Avril we can draw in either way first let's complete the top and the bottom border of this whole avril frame in this kind of artwork we always avoid using any kind of tools like the rulers or the erasers or all that stuff but it's not hard and fast rule if you want to use ruler or any other tool you are free to use We already use a lot of tools when we draw the mandala, right? Even though in the mandala also we try that more focus on the drawing than the using of the tool. these circles in the outer border as well as the inside border too lots of circles right we never run out of drawing the circle in zentangle generally we do don't call them circle we call them or shape because they are circular they are not absolutely perfect circle like uh, the geometrical circle we are talking they are circularish so the name of these shape is orb Take your time draw every single circle slowly and don't go out of the line and try not to get the tails finish where you started in the circle it's really important to get the neat and clean beautiful these orbs After that, we are going to work in the inner part of these Avril, that is these diamondish shape. What I am doing is, I am just making these corner lines slanted. So that now I know that I am going to draw in between. This one here will go so 
just draw the corner lines and then draw your other triangular line after that we have to draw one more these triangular line to get these diamond let's first work in these top line and here it will go like this the corner draw the straight line take your time don't hurry up it's absolutely fine if they are not coming the same size don't worry let them be a little different that's absolutely fine the next step is to divide your diamonds into half diamond is little slanted big or small let it be just divided into half and yeah we got all these sections now in these one we are going to fill the right side of the diamonds your sheet is out of frame and oh can we wait about a minute i think there was a lot of crying for people to okay kind of catch up this one where we divided into half the diamond we are going to fill the right side of it do you guys want me to wait please write down in the chat i think everyone is everybody is catching up well some people want me to wait some people want me to go ahead so what i'm just doing i'm completing all these horizontal line uh, all these vertical lines and then i'll wait before i start the horizontal line okay in this particular uh, angle the avrial there are a lot of line drawing in different directions it is a little focus angle like you have to be really aware about the direction of the line as well as which part of the diamond you have to draw it's 
really very easy to mess up a section if you lose your focus. here you go and now now I'm waiting for every bit everyone to catch up till here and then we'll draw the horizontal lines together and just as you said that I drew the lines on the right side of the diamond roll that's very easy to happen you know you just because you keep on moving the sides and then it becomes really very easy if someone talks you in between or something then you lose your focus Oh, that's nice Manjula you made your initial M I would love to see I'll wait when you submit your work okay, so shall I start now Ajay what do you think um, I think so okay Now we are going to start working on these top triangles with these horizontal lines. And in the bottom two together. Everywhere we are going to draw these horizontal lines. your time draw every single stroke one stroke at a time is the concept and the philosophy behind the Zen tingle that if you just focus on one step at a time you can draw any tangle that's why they deconstructed every tangle into steps If you just look at one step, it's very, very easy. Either the line, or the circle, or the S curve, or the V curve, all the elemental strokes. Don't go out of the line, stay inside the line. Keep your hand light so that you get the thinner lines. much pressure to your pen maybe you get a thick line that's what I feel I keep my hand very light so that I get the thinner line Rotating your tile.
once you are done with this Gabriel triangle, everyone, please write down in the chat or send me the thumbs up or write down the done that you are done with the Avril triangle or this frame. Then we'll talk about this left over center space, the background of this ribbon or your initial or whatever band you drew on the top. So Roshani wants to know if there is a pin that is thinner than 0, 0.1 micron pin. Uh, Linda did say that there is a point like 0, 0, 0.05. Yes. Thank you, Linda. Your answer is right. And this is the micron 0, 0.1 pen which I'm using. And let me show you the 0, 0, 0.05. Here is the 0, 0, 0.05 pen. This is micron 0, 0, 0.05. This is thinner than the 0, 0.1 pen. The tip size of 01 is 0 0.25 mm and the tip size of 005 is 0 0.2 mm. So this is a 0 0.05 mm difference. But yes, it is thinner than this. And you can decide if you want to keep it like this standing this this way or this way whichever way you want that's the fun in these centangle art that you can even after you are done with the whole tile you can keep rotating and deciding which place or the which direction you feel like the most before you you know sign it up so it's your choice how you want to do it so we are done with the diva dance rock and roll Avril, triple now we are just left with two tangles duda and the bb tangle which we are going to work in this bottom section please divide this bottom section into three equalish part straight like this you see so the top and bottom we are going to work with this bb tangle first don't fill the hole Stay in the center because we are going to draw the aura line also. We are drawing it in the draw behind so just try to draw half of them but with a different length size and after that we are going to join them they can be a little thick Thin, big, small, that's the fun of this BB tangle. Try to give them different length. After that, we are going to do the aura line in them. As we as we did in our this trial tile or this bijou tile. And try to fill this whole section with this jagged kind of the aura line and try to give one aura line on the top also so the line which we drew with the pencil is just kind of the suggestion our aura line can go little up or the 
little low it's absolutely fine okay so again two or a line on the top and the second order line I'm just making it a little thicker And now I'm turning my tile and I'm going to repeat exactly the same thing in this bottom section. Draw these bars very random, very organic. Don't draw them in the one base or the at the one level okay here we have very less space because our this bend is kind of covering up this whole section that's it now these bar drawing or the pillars or the piano keys very random and then the aura line which is going to fill this whole space all the way to the border of the abriel take your time draw slow stay focused and keep smiling that's the most important thing So when I'm not doing any session and drawing on my own so I generally play my favorite songs playlist what do you guys do when you are doing it just for yourself like you are not drawing along with me you are just drawing on your own for your own you know meditation time or your own fun time so my favorite songs really helps me and I just play them together what is your thing to help you guys to stay more focused or stay still with of enjoyment Awesome, Arashri, you sing some meditative, no lyric songs. Like, mm hmm, 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 humming. Yes, uh, Rukmani, there are uh, Roshni. Uh, question by Roshni. Yes, there are the thicker graphic pen and they just introduced the uh, number 10, 10 uh, maybe a few months ago. And... Before they introduce the number 10 pen, there are a graphic pen, they call them 1, 2, 3 like these. Graphic 1, so this is the 1, so they come in the set of 3, 1, 2, 3, this is graphic 1, this is 1 mm tip, and then graphic 2 and graphic 3. So they have thicker pens, yes. Now in the center one, we are going to fill it with our last angle that is the BB no the do dot angle right and we have our these thick borders thick aura lines of this BB tangle at both inner side now inside of this we are just going to draw our this
So, Prapreet, do they have the 12 number also in this micron 01? Micron 10? Uh, Pigma, I am not aware about it. I just came to know that they have that number 10. Actually, I always use the graphic 010203 for the thicker thing. So, but that's nice to know. Nancy, you love meditative piano music? You love my son's music, that's nice. Did you try the AP music channel? So, he is still working. Did he upload the new one he played a few days ago, Eddie? Ajay? Uh -huh. Not yet. I think he is still working on the video. Maybe in a day or two. Maybe today. Okay, so today he will upload a new video of his piano. Uh, he was busy in his some other work these days. So, but I think he's kind of done with his video. He will upload today. So, if you guys have never checked out his piano video, that is AP Music, Aditya Prakash. So, you can see his piano music, some of the Hindi music, mostly all the English ones, classical. Yeah, mostly he plays all classical, uh, Beethoven and all that. Now it's your choice how you want to give the bass. I actually don't want to give any bass to them. Rather, I want to give them just the dot on the top. In this one, we gave the bass the triangle, right? can make it circle, oval, whatever shape you want or any other thing. It depends. There are thousands ways of, you know, working with your this doodah triangle. Lots of variations. Hey, yay, we are done with the drawing. Can I find AP music on Alexa? Ajay, can you reply that question? I Linda am is asking. Not sure, I'm not sure if you can play if it if your Alexa comes with a screen, there are some models, then you can play the channel on YouTube. Uh, but I don't think you can play it otherwise on Alexa. Mm. Okay, so Linda, you are saying yes, 12 is great. So you are talking about the 12 size pen. I have never tried it. I will definitely try that. Is it different than the graphic one, Linda? And Prapreet, you both are talking about the 12 number pen. Now, we are going to grab our pencil and start shading. So the first shading is around our this Diva Dance band where the edges of these orbs just a bit finer than graphic one like in the 08 I really love my 08 pen because in the 08 pen you know the size changes based on the pressure of the tip like if you are putting more pressure you will get a little thicker line if you put less pressure you'll get a little thin line so that's why i really love these micron 08 pens so, uh, does that number 10 and 12 also have these that feature of the pressure sensitivity in the tip Okay, so then, uh, then it's good. I love that pressure sensitivity because that really helps a lot to create the thick and the thin line without changing the pan, with the continuity, and it really helps a lot. We are done drawing. If you guys want, you can use the graphite pencil the way I'm using, or if you want, you can use lots of these kind of, you know, the color options. You see, in these, these are the few color options drawing like this is the black and white version and the same thing you can see in the different three variety the 
this is the black and white this is the monochromatic and this is very colorful one so these are different again look diva dance in this one so you can use these uh, tiles classical absolutely rectangle style but if you want you can use colors why not Bring it closer. Now we are done. We are working on the sixth step. That is the shading. We are done with the tangling. This is my first shading here. Bring this ribbon on the top as the shading is falling. This bottom section here. So, uh, you can use some uh, Yelena if your red color is not like bringing it up. Use the use some shading. Maybe very dark maroonish red color for the shading to pop them up. Contrast along with them. After that, we are going to work in this Avril. The Avril, we are leaving these odd lines. We are just giving, laying down graphite at both sides. it's the time for the blending yesterday mr farrell who is 87 years he shared his you know, a small video of all the mandalas which he has colored uh, from my book this mandala world and there are lots of nine ten mandalas he has done coloring and he's enjoying and uh, he colored all those with different different mediums like the brush pen like the color pencils a lot of other mediums very beautiful and vibrant colors he used and he tagged me it was nice to see that when you share your work with this mandala world book and we have a new member, Smoffy O'Leary. Thank you so much for supporting our work. Thank you, Smoffy, and thank you everyone who is supporting me with Tulip and Oak membership. I really appreciate it. And now the last shading in this inner section where you see our this line of our these orbs around it just lay down little graphite lightly that's nice Yelena the shading is helping In 
my second book you know what i'm planning i i told i think yesterday also and now i am just working on that only uh the second book i'm going to give you the two versions of the mandalas like the one is the outline and one is the full drawing and side by side so there are various ways to work on it if you want you can draw watching my full mandala the outline version you can use your own imagination and you can draw in the outline mandala or you can just skip the drawing just do the loose easy gem gem kind of you know uh, or very loose coloring in those outline as well as intricate coloring in the finished mandala so i hope you will like that style in the second book making it a little darker around these or just after blending it becomes a little light again just a reminder there will be no class next week next week is your catch up week whatever uh, you have you know you are left with and there are there is a uh, playlist draw with me where you will definitely find any of your favorite style of uh, any live session lots of spiral art lots of mandala art zen doodle art and zen dangle art Choose whatever you feel like, and you can catch up next week on your own, playing your own music by singing or whatever you feel like. Just take your time and catch up your leftover work there or your favorite artwork. The Draw with Me playlist. That's it. There will also be some new uploads for our members and for the patrons that will be coming up in the next week. Yes, I did. And now it's the time. for the initial and sign and appreciate so for initial and sign you can make your chop with your initial the prakash and in the back i'm just going to sign it and write down today's date Today's date is eighteenth July twenty twenty one. YouTube live, and you can use lots of these. This is Let's Tangle eighteen. Eighteen session, and. you can use all these hashtags and i'm going to take a picture as always and make a post so that you can share your work here and as i have been suggested earlier i'm going to use that post link and add it to the video description at the very end so if later any time you are working on the style and you want to add it uh, so you can use that video description link to share your work with me because there are a lot of people who draw you know later so that's the easier way to reach to that and now it's the time for the appreciation and i want to say thank you to everybody i really enjoyed working on this tile isn't it a beautiful tile do you guys like it thank you linda Yes, Elena. So the second book, she will love the second book where I'm going to give the outlines. 
I don't think live chat stay with the YouTube videos forever, Yelena. Yes, Ajay, what do you say? I am not sure. Uh, something that I think we got to figure out. So far, I know live chat will stay just for a few days, maybe. I think sometimes I see them. Sometimes they say that live chat is not available now for this video if I start any older video. Welcome, Shirley, Nancy, Elena, Rabjot, Claudia, Shruti, Linda. So. We'll see each other next to next week now, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, next week. Enjoy everyone.